Hi, I'm Andy from Spike and Z Labs, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Povard. First thing that we'll do is we'll open up the bag, take everything out. Here's the Povard, anti-static bag containing the anti-static sensitive parts, including the PCB. We have a little bag of LEDs and some screws. I'm going to set aside the screws and the bezel for now. We're going to open up the anti-static bag. And dump out the contents. There's not that much in it. Very easy kit to build. Here's the PCB. Two little capacitors. Two different types of resistors. And a little piece of foam with a socket. Uh, and some chips, a switch, and a six pin angu angular header. Now I'm going to show you how to solder the LEDs onto the PCB. You'll notice that each of these LEDs has one leg slightly longer than the next. The longer leg on a LED is the positive. Here is the Povard board. Notice how it says LEDs this side. For this installation, we'll be putting the LEDs through on this side of the PCB. Send it all the way through. And the way I like to solder it is this. First thing that I do, so I get my solder ready, grab my set of helping hands, and I hold just a little bit of solder in one of the clips using my finger on the top of the lead, I'm putting a fair amount of pressure just so that it lays completely flat against the PCB. I grab my hot soldering iron and I just put a little bit of solder. I'll show you a little trick. It can go a lot quicker if you solder one leg of each LED and then solder the other leg all at once. <laughs> You'll notice in your kit you have four resistors that are the same. We're going to prepare these for installation by bending them. And these resistors are going to go into position R1, R2, R11, and R12. Resistors are on. I'm now going to install the sockets. Notice how there's a little notch on the socket. That notch is going to uh, match up with the notch on your PCB. Use the helping hands again. will hold my solder for me while I get my socket started. We've got C1 and C2 to install. There's no polarity for these guys. switch to install. 
you just match it up with the picture of the switch on the PCB. Here is the battery compartment. It's going to be holding two AA batteries. The PCB has an embedded strain relief for these lines. Send the wire up, down and through. You just pull back on the wire. We'll do the same thing for the positive lead. Want these wires to be as flat as possible. And we just apply a little bit of solder to the end. Now for the installation of the pin header. This goes on to the resistor side of the board. Push it through. It's a little trick so that you don't burn your fingers. You load up your helping hands once again. A nice little bit of solder ready. Put your finger on the area that you're not soldering on. Yes, I did learn that the hard way once or twice. <laughs> install the chips onto the sockets using a hard metal. Take the chips, just give them a little bit of a, an encouragement to straighten out those legs. The little notch over here. This little guy has his notch over here as well. We want to line up those notches so that they match the notches on the socket, otherwise your circuit's not going to work. Before you give it the final press, you always want to make sure that you're as straight as possible. And now that one's in. We'll do this guy next. First thing we have to do for the plastic, we'll set aside our uh, PCB. You have to peel off the protectant. The top side has been etched. Here you can see that there's uh, little bits that remain. Another way to prepare the plastic is to soak it in warm water for about 10-15 uh, minutes and uh, this tape will just come right off. Any little bits of remaining glue that you can see here that we can touch up with WD-40 afterwards. Lay the leads down. They'll all poke through and stop right at the ridge of the lead, there's a little bit of a belt. Phillips has a screwdriver. It's a bit of double-sided tape. Peel off and then just stick it right down into the middle. If you're wondering how to put the Pavard onto your Arduino, it's quite simple. Here's your Arduino. Pavard. Here are the pins that are going to go into the analog connector. And it fits on like so. Straight down.